Yeah, I think I will try Blasto tomorrow. It's a good opportunity. Unless I feel like playing Bum Simulator. It's fun because the, the devs give you a lot of freedom in that game, but you can, you can see where the line is. Like, you can tell, like, uh... Keep it down for a second. Well, yeah, I don't want to get bit by these dogs. You could tell they wanted you to have fun and freedom, but... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna get bit. But you can have more fun than they expected. Like, you can Mama flip cars Mia. over and shit. Yeah, some devs restrict the fun you can have intentionally. Usually because they want it to look nice. And most of the time, if it's gonna look nice, you have to make sure you don't let the player... Uh, have the freedom to look under the curtain because if you can it's kind of like when you're on a Universal Studios ride you have to be in the fucking tram at all times if you get off the car and look behind you can see it's not even really a shark you know so that's that's why they these new games have all these walk and chat sequences where you are not allowed to actually control the character you're only like you know uh, guided through this area where it looks super nice. It's too much sacrifice for <laughs> not you. enough. I mean, who cares how nice it looks? Every game has good graphics, basically. I mean, sometimes it's a little better than others, but it's really more about fun to me. Fun factor. But maybe that's unacceptable. Because, you know, in today's, like, it's hard to tell what the average person expects. Today, maybe it would not fly to have a weird oblivion or fallout-like buggy mess. You know? It just doesn't fly. Crying is not enough is a buggy mess? No way, they fixed all the bugs. Crying is not enough is not even a real game. That shit is like... It's like a work of art. It's kind of like how Meat Spin is not porn. Crying is not enough is like Meatspin.fr. <laughs> Thank you. It's way beyond what it is. You know? Just on paper, it's not Paper doesn't that paper doesn't do stuff like that justice, you know? Yeah, it's porn. But it's so much more than just porn. Yeah, it's a video game, but come on man. It can't be compared to just video games. That game is a masterpiece. Greek game of the year? <laughs> Those guys who made that game have some fucking nerve if you think about it. They didn't pay the voice actors. They made up a fucking award called the Greek Game of the Year Award. And then on Steam, they used that and a few other made up things as ways to sell the game in the fucking wallpaper image of the game. They were the guys who made that shit up. There's no Greek Game Awards. <laughs> it wins every year. Those guys are geniuses. Greek Game Awards. You know how, like, magazines will say, like, you know, GamePro gave it 8.5. You know, all these different, like, scores and awards it received and shit. These guys just made that shit up. Greek Game of the Year. Clone goes away on block. Good times. I'm so glad it's not my job to do anything. <laughs> but, uh, to... Make games? That would suck. It f seems really fucked up. It's gotta be one of the worst jobs. It's very hard, right? And it's super hard, and the better you are at it, the harder it is, basically. Because the better you are at it, the more you have fans, and the more fans you have, the more you have to hear people hate you because you're a dev even though they have thousands of hours in your in your game. You know, it's crazy. The better you are, the harder it is. Sucks. You could, if you want to make games, you could probably do a good job. But if you do too good of a job, then you don't deserve to eat. It's kind of weird. 
This guy's a bitch. He says, don't be lazy. Don't listen to him. Fuck you, dude. You're the laziest bitch we ever. How, How much productivity you have at work? You're such a lazy little bitch. People who call devs lazy are the biggest bitches ever, dude. Devs, first of all, you're right. Devs are lazy. But devs have the most right to be lazy. Just like you do. Jobs suck. You go to work, you fucking... What are you, <laughs> pumping out TPS reports? Breaking yesterday's personal <laughs> desk? Hell no. You're just listening to a podcast or probably listening to me talking shit. You're gonna get me killed. Jobs suck, dude. It's very weird. It's hard to explain, especially to everyone, so everyone can get it. But no matter what you do, even if it's awesome. Like, for example, I'm sure porno stars who what they do for a living is have sex with pretty girls, they probably are like, man, I don't want to go to work. This sucks. Sex with a pretty girl again. Sleeping face. I just want to do some other shit. It's the way it is. It doesn't matter what you do. It's always going to be like, if you're not careful and if you do it too much, it's going to be, like, not good anymore. Not fun. That's why I don't stream too much. You know, you got to be careful. If I stream too much or if I care too much, what next thing you know, it's going to be like... This sucks. I don't want to fucking stream. Sex with a pretty girl again? That's absurd, you know? To me... To me, that's absurd. Just like the way to you, you're thinking, how could you be, how could streaming be hard work? Whoa. That's what you're thinking. But you don't get it. Even sex with a pretty girl could be hard work if you do it all the time. But if you, you know, are a regular normie, that shit is un, uh, you, you can't be satiated, depending on how pretty. Streaming is hard. Whatever, pussy real hard. I don't know. I hope I always feel that way. You know what's hard? Fucking gardening. That's hard. This motherfucker, I've never worked that hard in my life. This guy's out there fucking swinging that mahehe around, chopping these bushes up. He's got a mask on. He's sweating under the sun, pushing this shit around. Bees and fucking other natural ha hazards are terrorizing him sh and shit cooking the guy's fucking cooking you know and i'm in here like hey what's up amigos thanks you know yeah streaming is real hard fuck you but i mean that's just the way i feel about it the next guy over is like like suicidal <laughs> from how hard streaming is is that guy wrong no but the next guy over is like, that's how hard streaming is, you know? <laughs> that's crazy. But it's totally true. I'm not even fucking kidding you. Oh, yeah. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about streaming is hard. Whatever, pussy. In the comments below. Don't forget to ring the notification bell, amigos. And subscribe. We put out videos every day. With that being said, let's get right into it.